Snipers in general in this game are a lot easier to get gold than people give them credit. Now that's not saying they're easy guns to unlock whatsoever. Like so far I've done the Type 99 and the Car 98K and you guys will see the car tomorrow. But there's some ways to make the camel grind so much easier with the snipers. And today we're focused on the Type 99. Timestamps down below because a lot of you guys are going to be here for the Bloodthirsty Challenge as well as the Point Blanks. So if you guys want to skip to any part of the guide, you can as well. However, I do recommend sticking around right now for the class setup. With the Type 99, you're going to notice you get hit markers more than you would want. So you're going to want to equip attachments that increase your one-shot potential like the Proficiency Vital. To be exact, my attachments that I run once my weapon's fully leveled up is the Mercury Silencer, Shirashi 712mm Sniper Barrel, the 3.5 Rifle Scope, the Remove Stock, the Heavy Foregrip, the 8mm Clouser 5-Round Mag, Lengthened Ammo Type, my rear grip is the leather grip. I have the vital proficiency and fully loaded. You will start off with this gun and it will be an absolute pain and you won't really start making camo progression until around weapon level 25 because that's when you start to unlock some of the attachments where this thing starts to be a consistent one shot at all ranges you can play hardcore too if that's more your speed however in hardcore you're gonna die cross map to pistols just because it's hardcore so keep that in mind let's get into the camo challenges now there's a lot of people that tend to struggle with these but I got some neat tips and tricks that should help you through this weapon. Pack tactics, 300 eliminations. Mathematically, you'll complete this. Don't worry about it. Surgical, you need 100 headshots. Don't worry about grinding this right off the bat. And there's another camo challenge for long shots that you won't have to worry about because there's two categories later on where you have to do headshots and long shots with attachments. So leave those behind. Predatory ambition is 50 multi kills. This can strain anywhere from a double kill to uh, a, like a triple kill or a mega kill. If you want to go on like a five, six man streak, like you're trying to make a face montage. This should happen naturally, especially in the Das House 24 seven playlist, which is a thing now, but it wasn't when I got this weapon gold. The next camo is Reptilian. This is 30 Bloodthirsties. This is where people are going to struggle the most. One tip that I can give you guys is don't really focus on Bloodthirsties the second you unlock the camo challenge. Just focus on other things you have to do at like long shots eventually and point blanks eventually and you'll get Bloodthirsties naturally. I think I usually get around six, seven Bloodthirsties before I unlock the next camo challenges. And then as I'm doing future camo challenges, I usually finish off Bloodthirsties just by naturally playing. And then if for some reason I have like five Bloodthirsties left, then I'll actually sit down and focus on them. If you are struggling with these, lay low, play a big map like Desert Siege and sit at the back of the map. You might want to put on Concealment, which is a perk that will hide your sniper glint so enemies won't see you sniping at them or see the glint giving you away. And you can get five kills just from long distance. For some reason, for me, Dome is my favorite map for Bloodthirsties and sniping in general, even though it's a small one. I always tend to get a high kill streak on that map or get a bunch of Bloodthirsties there anyway. Dead eye is 100 long shots. I mean, you're using a sniper. You're going to get long shots all the time on big maps like Berlin, Desert Siege, Red Star. Once again, you can save these challenges for later because you'll still need to do long shots with specific attachments. Berserker is the challenge that people hate the most, and it's 100 point blanks with a sniper. Pretty counterintuitive considering a sniper is meant for long range. However, there's a bunch of attachments you can throw on your gun. I won't list specific ones because there's a couple different variants of them, but the weapon proficiencies and the weapon attachment upgrades and buffs that you want are increased hip fire accuracy, sprint to fire movement, recoil control, and flinch resistance. And then once you have these such attachments equipped to buff your weapon in this way, then you're just going to want to round Das House 24-7, run through the tight corridors, and kill enemies. When I did this challenge, Das House 24-7 wasn't a thing yet, so I just ran around in Domination Blitz, running around like it was a shotgun. Point blanks aren't very forgiving. You quite literally have to be barrel stuffing almost the entire time with snipers, which isn't hard on Das House and won't be hard on shipment when that comes out. But you just got to hunker down and get this challenge out of the way because you do not want to leave this challenge till the end of the weapon progression. 
I recommend doing point blanks the second you unlock this challenge, and then as you're doing point blanks, you'll level up your weapon enough to unlock the next camo challenges, which include Wildcat, which is 50 kills while holding your breath. I mean, odds are you're going to hold your breath with the sniper anyway. If you're a quick scoper, you might have to just hard scope a little bit more often. Hold your breath. That It's really that easy. And also make sure you have an optic that you can hold your breath with like the standard sniper scope don't use any hybrid scopes because you can't hold your breath with those so yeah you, you'll figure it out it's not that hard and this is why i said long shots you can save till later because this challenge requires you to get 100 long shots with the shirashi 7 1 2 millimeter barrel the shirashi stock and the spotter perk equipped or i guess proficiency equipped doesn't really matter what else you have on your gun just stay on the long maps and get your long shots and mind games is 100 headshots with the 8 millimeter five round mag the remove stock and the vital proficiency aim for the head i mean it's a sniper pretty self-explanatory das house shipment might not be the best playlists for this camel challenge but it's straightforward overall i can't imagine people struggling with this because usually when i snipe i aim for the head anyway i don't know if i'm just conditioned to do that from warzone but that's just how it is for me. And then the last camo category is extremely easy. It's 180 S kills with the Sakura 7.76 millimeter barrel, the 6.5 round or three round mag, and then the CVR custom stock. I mean, it kills while ADS. That's pretty much what you do with a sniper all the time anyway, unless you're like no scoping all the time to try and hit some clips. ADS 100 times. You can do it in like two, three games, especially on... Uh, das house or shipment when that comes out anyway and with that being said like those camel challenges they're pretty straightforward they get tedious with the sniper but you'll get there eventually and be able to slam out these camel challenges like I, it only took me i think five hours of in-game play time including like lobbies and stuff like that but five hours total to get this thing gold so yeah with that being said i'm about to head out use code wild for 10 percent off and uh if there is one i'll see you guys in the next one Peace.